Before we understand about natural frequency, let us first understand vibration behavior. In order to do that, we will consider the following demonstration where you can observe that after disturbing the blade from its stable or equilibrium position, the blade makes oscillatory motions. This oscillatory behavior we call it as vibration. All the bodies possessing mass and elasticity are capable of vibration. The blade's elastic behavior can be represented as spring element and mass of the blade as lumped mass as shown here, which is a typical representation of a vibratory system. Now we will try to understand the physical mechanism behind generating oscillatory behavior of the vibrating object using this spring mass system. The present state represents the initial undisturbed position of the blade. Just like in the case of blade experiment, we will now disturb the system by giving a small initial pull as shown here. What happens exactly whenever we disturb the object? Now the real magic starts. Due to elasticity, the object tries to maintain the equilibrium by using restoring force. A restoring force is nothing but any force that always acts to pull the system back towards equilibrium. Now the object reaches to its equilibrium position. Interestingly, the object does not stay exactly at equilibrium due to inertia or mass of the object. Newton's first law explains why. According to first law, an object is in motion tends to stay in motion in the absence of external forces. The effect of inertia can be considered as inertia force which can be quantified according to Newton's second law. Now the inertia force compresses the spring to another side of the equilibrium. Again the elastic nature of the object which is nothing but spring force tries to push the object towards the equilibrium position. Again due to inertia effect the mass overshoots the equilibrium position and reaches the other side of the equilibrium. Now again the spring force tries to bring the mass towards the equilibrium and this phenomena continues unless there is no external influence. If you try to trace the path of the mass which leads to a cyclic motion about equilibrium as shown here. Therefore, the study of vibration is concerned with the oscillatory motion of the body and forces associated with them. And the cyclic or periodic behavior of the system can be characterized with the term called natural frequency because these oscillations are generated naturally due to internal forces like spring force and inertia force after giving initial disturbance to the system. Mathematically we express the natural frequency of the system by using the following equation where one can conclude that the natural frequency depends purely on system mass and stiffness distribution. The same phenomena can be observed in case of simple pendulum as well, but here the restoring force is due to gravity. Similarly, whenever we disturb a floating object which performs the oscillatory behavior, but here the buoyancy force acts as a restoring force. We know that whenever this natural frequency matches with the external excitation frequency, the resonance phenomena occurs. For more details on the resonance, please watch our video on what is resonance. Thank you for watching.